No! Oh, well, what a great way to start this video. Um, <coughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, so, this is a new sort of really rubbish thing that I decided I wanted to try. Uh, it's a Tuesday comedy podcast, because... Fuck it, why not? <laughs> um, yes, um, although this is a little bit of a late warning, please be aware that... Harsh language shall be used by Connor, primarily Yay. Connor, nobody else, okay, <laughs> so shut up. <laughs> Mostly me. So, um, yeah, basically this is going to be about sort of ten minutes long-ish, just talking about a load of random bollocks that happens in our lives every Tuesday. A what? So, well, not every Tuesday, but like over a week. So, uh, what funny shit has happened in you guys' lives so far? Nothing, my life boring. I discovered pen, pineapple, apple pen. Yes, oh, extended goodness. version. What? Oh, not the extended version. I yeah, haven't actually heard the extended, extended version. version. The pen. I guys. Have an apple. No! Guys. What? Um, yeah. You might not want to search it. What, the extended version of Pen Pineapple Apple Pen? It can be likened to ear rape. Ah, right. I'm going to have to search that and incorporate it in the end of the video, then. But I do like ear rape. You told me not to, so I, I've decided that this is what I'm going to do, because I'm an arse. Because comedy! Mwahahaha! <laughs> comedy crashes, Carl. No, it doesn't. Cars crash cars. Karen, Reckless. you're ruining the podcast playing your game, so stop. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, but this is going to be sort of a pilot episode of uh, this Tuesday podcast. These will... So expect it to be a little shit. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, these are recorded on a Monday, because why not? We're cheap ass bricks. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically going to be filler for when I'm not out train spotting because it's way too cold outside. I can't be. Yeah, it, to do it, that. it's it's Great Britain. The weather in Great Britain in winter it is, is great. It's more. Yeah, it is. The weather pretty in Great is less great and more Britain. <laughs> no, just less great and more shit. No, that has no. That doesn't go. It's shit, less Britain. Britain. Nowadays, Great Britain really isn't great. Yeah, no, it is pretty shit. Yeah. In recent news, Donald Trump wins presidential election. Oh, God! It's oh. Nothing good. Oh. <laughs> Just nothing no. good is happening in this world. I just give up. All, yeah, all I'm going to say, Donald Trump looks like a carrot that has sat <laughs> on its own family. <laughs> <laughs> A carrot, a carrot and a donkey had sex. <laughs> <laughs> a carrot and a donkey with small everything. <laughs> Including everything. hands. You know what, what? They, you know what they say, though? Orange is the new black. <gasps> Does that mean Donald Trump is a victim of racism? I wouldn't say a victim of racism. Well, he is. Guys, guys, he guys. He is racism. A little, bit of a, a little bit of advice I learned and gave in maths class. Uh-huh. Gay people for Trump is like mudbloods for Voldemort, as is smart people with Clinton. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, Thing is, though, now that, now that Donald Trump has been able, has been sort of told that he can't remove gay rights and all the rest of it, he's sort of gone, oh, right. And the KKK have just looked at him and gone, you bastard. <laughs> ah. Wow. Basically, the moment that presidency happened, the KKK were like, yes! And then all of the prevailing stuff happened afterwards, and then they were all you like... You do realise oh. that if this channel ever gets monetization, this will not be monetized at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't because monetize my videos anyway. Rubbish. I pretty much do YouTube for fun. Not that kind of fun. No, really, do you now? Oh, shut up, guys. Be mature. Oh, I love that play button. 
Stop bloody swearing. Look, I never fucking swear, okay? <laughs> oh, 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 speaking of double. Speaking of irony, right. I... It's very my, my, um... Brother and my mother went into town on right. Sunday. Cool. And, uh... Yeah. There were two women. Uh, yeah, sounds like something that might not be... Need, needless to say, these two women... Nearly trampled a girl. Oh my god. And they were wasted. Oh my goodness. So basically, two yeah. drunk women walking down a road. And nearly trampled a girl. It's almost, as, it's almost as bad as that joke. A blind man walks into a bar and says, ow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, isn't that London? What, where blind people walk into bars and say, ow? Everything happens in London. Oh, yeah, true. You have a point. Yeah. Right, um, the Olympics, one-unders, everything. One-unders, oh, God, do not talk about one-unders. For those who don't know, uh, of those who aren't really railway-related, a one-under is where a person decides, fuck it, I hate life, and just jumps in front of the train. And then in London, everyone goes, selfish bastard. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, rush hour, northern line, one under happens, and all the commuters who are hold, uh, who are held up by this situation, as TFL like to put it, um, they all just sit there and go, bloody selfish bastard. It's really quite mean, but to be honest, I've done it myself. It's not just a, Not a one under, but thought that. I mean, I'm not dead, clearly. I still have <laughs> all my limbs. <laughs> They're still firmly attached to my body. No fair. It's all good. Oh, and really, Cameron? Cameron. <laughs> you should have known this. You should have expected this from me. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um, it, we're at fault here. <laughs> not you. <laughs> to be honest, for those people who think that this podcast is scripted and all the rest of it, it really isn't. This is just one of our normal conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Just recorded, basically. Yeah, we're basically capturing no, basically the like essence. the government every time we Skype call. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We anyway, basically, talking... We basically do the verbal equivalent of shit posting on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. This um, is basically the audio version of my Twitter account. Only less sophisticated. Yeah. Anyway, back on oh, politics. Oh, Cameron, as if you were sophisticated in the first place. <laughs> That's the point. But yeah, back on to politics. Uh, Theresa May is rubbish. Pretty much. My dad has referred to her as uh, Theresa Hitler. I call her Theresa Thatcher. I call her uh, Theresa Thatcher. Well, it's just just as bad, perhaps even worse. If you've noticed... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 Before you say anything else, do you know that she, by law, has to actually, um... Revoke Article 50. Really? Oh, for fuck's sake. Basically, we've done the petition to leave the EU. Our Toblerone has been sacrificed and is now shit. <laughs> what? The is price that, of wait, fucking... Wait, what's the thing? What? Yeah, yeah, it's really shit. There's only half the number of mountains on the Toblerone. I'll show you later, Dan. Um, it, Hang on, is that like a whole... Europe-wide thing or only a Britain thing? It's only a Britain thing. No way. Yeah, it's really shit. That um, is racist. But yeah, to, uh, if you haven't... Is zero but at this point. Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, Theresa May is trying to send England into George Orwell's book of 1984. <laughs> She's basically trying to get technology-wide surveying equipment installed onto every single computer into the UK to um, I'm never actually buying track phone. every single person. I'm and never buying a new phone. I'm sticking with my note. Well, no, that it will be automatically installed. She'll be able to access every single account across the UK. I'm billing my note. Which basically Which means... Basically I'm, I'm, means we can call her Teresa Big Brother. Uh, Teresa Brother. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. I'm bidding my Rita. Bye. Uh, bye. 
But yeah, so basically, yeah. Theresa May may as well just be called Theresa Maybe Not. <laughs> uh, someone had to say that. Yeah, yeah, it's, and it had to be me, probably. But, yeah, basically, UK, fucked up. US, fucked up. Russia, fucked up. Cold War, not ended. Technically not, actually. That's a good point you bring up there, Dan. Because the Tsar Bomba the Second. Well, yeah, to Tsar Bomba the Second, which is like three times bigger than what the Tsar Bomba actually was. And the Tsar Bomba was bigger than anything else before it. No, oh, yeah, exactly. From both sides of the Atlantic. Which basically means Russia is making big bomb to go boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> making big bomb to go boom boom in America, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's going to be messier than a baby's full mappy. <laughs> oh, why did you have to bring that image into my head? <laughs> I'm laughing now. Basically, nearly every single American will just look up at the sky, see this fucking massive mushroom cloud, and shit themselves. <laughs> oh. This is why I'm probably going to have to move excluded. Shelby over here. What? You're going to what? Shelby's going to have to move over here. Have you restarted the podcast? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, securities. But yeah, is there anything uh, anybody wants to get off their chest in the next sort of f- three minutes, four minutes? No. Yeah. I want yeah. to get off the chest, or get off my chest, the fact that the UK is going to die within the next five years. Hooray! We're all going to be dead. But we'll only have been out of the EU for three years. Yes, no, it was only earlier this year. And we're not even out the EU yet. And I, I know, but if Australia was fine today... That is. In what little time there is left of the day, I mean, all the politicians have probably gone home, the lazy bastards. Well, yeah, they're politicians. They are, they've earned their money, they're lazy twats, and they've just decided, right, we're going to go home and eat too many biscuits. <laughs> Maybe shove them up our arse. <laughs> hey, so what about Johnson? Oh, to, to be honest, Boris Johnson's all right, but he's foreign secretary. He's probably in another country. Like I'm so lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Rhubarb. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. They've got me rhubarb. <laughs> I have no biscuits. Oh, <laughs> Bob. Okay, right. I think at this point it is safe to say that we can close this podcast here for the week. Goodbye. So, good Cameron's, rhubarb. Already said, Cameron's already said good pie. I was good gonna, rhubarb. Good rhubarb, everyone. I was, I was going to, like, cast you off one by one. So, goodbye from Cameron. Ah. And Dan. Um, good rhubarb. And me. Ta-ra, peoples.